हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द हाई प्रोडक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एन अमेजिंग प्रोडक्ट थ्रू आउट यू डब्ल्यू एंड रैप एंड वी विल टेक्सचर इन सो लेट्स गेट इट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई हैव अ थ्री डी स्टूडियो मैक्स एंड एम जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सिंपल बॉक्स डजेंट मैटर वॉट आर दियर मेजरमेंट एंड डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट we just need to create a box with had it has some height but not a thickness too much we just need to center align them and after that i'm going to go to the material editor and we'll check out the video material throughout the bitmap i'm just going to assign a simple texture of uh, custard this one it's a custard texture but let me tell you this is not a sponsor so don't worry about that you can see the texture is just missing only front part is perfect but the rest of the sides are disturbing or maybe stretching or squishing let me try to adjust throughout the uw map but unfortunately it is not working as well let me play with some length width and height so they are actually not working so we just need to quit this idea okay Let me show you throughout the Google what we need. We need this is it cluster. We need the side. This is the side one texture, which is the missing, and as well it is the top part of the cluster is also missing. So I have the textures of three parts, but how can I adjust three texture on just one box with proper measurement and without a stretching? these are the texture this is one side and that one is the top one so for that purpose we need a modifier which is called unwrap uw this one unwrap uw have to create a box into unwrap from the open uv editor you can see a wireframe structure so just need to flatten map first and the uh, structure is open the all six sides of the box is open and you can see the six sides easily let me tell you uh, or maybe we can move or we can select them so by clicking i can assign them this is my bottom this is my side left side front side okay i'll rotate my front side because we need this alignment okay so we just need to adjust it from one by one top to top and i'm going to select all of them scale down the size under the square box so render uv template and create a template and save this template i'm going to save this with the name of custard and save that okay Let's go to the Adobe Photoshop and open this texture. First, I'm going to create the layer and I will assign black color on the layer so I can see my wireframe structure here. And now I'm open uh, my these three textures and these three texture I'm going to copy them and paste it here. And by Control T and transformation, I'm just going to adjust it. like this also take the duplicate by holding alt and uh, add just here perfect in the top texture also by holding control t make a transform and add just it here properly after that we need a side and the top so let's go back to 3ds max and we'll modify this is the side one so 
control C and control V paste it here and uh, just transform them like this and copy them on this part this time the top at just top here and transform them according to their size also hold alt and create duplicate here all right after that just uh, switch off the layer of your wireframe structure and then save this texture and also i'm going to save the copy as well as a jpeg format to create texture of the box <laughs> so i'm just going to go to the box here i will call my texture from this part so you can see this texture is properly working or all over the six side of your object like this you can see from the top from the back from the sides each and every word is clear no stretching no squashing and no texture disturbing okay so now I will duplicate them why because it has some more flavors and we will also create a texture of other flavors so go back to the adobe photoshop create all the layers and make a group which is name is strawberry and we will create another texture group with a new flavor which is called mango flavor <laughs> so here it is mango flavor same pattern i will copy this and uh, turn on the layer of wireframe and paste the mango front texture of the custard <laughs> perfect okay take the duplicate and adjust to here after that call their sides copy and paste here adjust it properly and then duplicate from another side okay so this time the top texture put them here And then place it here switch off the layer make a group it's called mango and save the copy with the name of mango jpeg format and also go to the radius max select one of them material editor and uh, copy this texture with some little bit reflection copy here give them a name of mango and go to the bitmap here and select by this texture so it has become properly mango texture but the size are same and the text are same we just need to adjust them now this time for the vanilla so the same pattern should copy here and take the vanilla texture on the same wireframing structure duplicate after creating duplicate uh, we need to take out the sides copy the sides and paste it here like this as perfectly done take the duplicate on it and now this time for the top also adjust the vanilla top on this structure
and it's just here okay see the copy of uh, with the name of vanilla and assign this texture on the third custard packet it's called vanilla and call vanilla texture so as you can see that we have these three beautiful custard boxes with the proper texture of unwrap uaw map let's create uh, some beautiful lighting renders <coughs> For that purpose, we need a studio light setup and uh, I'm not going to create the studio light setup. I will call my studio light setup because I have already created three or four tutorials about this uh, studio lights. So first I'll go and rotate them. I mean, give them a suitable position and also I will import my studio life setup but before that i'm just gonna take uh, import and merge so i have this file on desktop which is basketball file i will call all of them delete this ball i don't need this ball just need to adjust perfect Okay, so these one I will have to I and hide hide them and just will focus on my custard vanilla flavor. Well, it's so much harsh. What will I have to do? I will have to add just a little bit light, something like this. Also, go to the render settings and. Uh, just turn on my GI you need to wait for this a little bit that's good go to the a radius map with current preset low and this one has to be bucket <laughs> okay I'll take this color a little bit different a little bit different a little bit dark little bit dark tone and this one is my reflective flow render of it it looks cool it looks good okay so this time for the mango so I'll assign mango and also make yellow backplate I need to make it more darker. <laughs> need to make. Uh, I don't think so. It's good. We need to adjust your lights parameters. And let's see. No. I think I should uh, go to the top light has to be 10 as well well it looks proper it looks good right now okay so this time for the third one we'll go to the first strawberry flavor make a darker pink And let's see. Well, it's looking good and a proper texture. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial and if you've learned a lot, thank you so much for watching this.